hello guys i'm back with my another video so if you have followed my previous videos i have introduced myself as digital specialist engineer but i have recently promoted to power programmer and in this video i will be sharing how i joined infosys then how was my journey as a digital specialist engineer and how i am promoted to power programmer so uh, very first thing like how infosys uh, hires so there are three uh, specific things like first one is uh, hack with envy they hire through hack with envy this is a off campus thing then the second one is um, infi tq exam this is also a off campus thing and another uh, is uh, um, campus placement so this is uh, not off campus so how i uh, join infosys uh, i appeared for infi tq exam so in infi tq exam there will be two coding question and there are some uh, mcq questions based on oop and database uh, and for the coding question there will be only java and python so generally i code using c and c++ and i knew the python so i uh, so i thought to appear with python and i just um, before the exam i just practice uh, basics of pythons and all the basic things of python because i already know python so i just open hacker rank and i keep on practicing basic uh, python questions and uh, i remember uh, there were two questions one for a 2d matrix and another was most probably string question so <clears throat> For one question, all my test cases passed, and for the second question, uh, uh, I guess eight out of ten test cases passed, and I uh, gave the MCQs. Uh, all, most probably, all were fine. So I was quite confident that I will be uh, selected for this uh, Infi TQ round, and I was selected. Uh, I was selected in that day only. Uh, that day, I came to know that um, I got a system engineer role. and after some days i got a mail that uh, as i cleared the system engineer role i will be uh, like uh, given uh, i have to give another test for uh, system engineer specialist or power programmer so based on the test they will be selecting as system engineer specialist or power programmer so i appeared for that test so there were three coding question one sing, uh, simple one medium and one hard and i remember they were uh, applications of greedy and dynamic programming and after appearing i got a interview call and i remember in interview they were asking some database questions and questions from uh, there they asked two coding questions also in the interview one was application of c algorithm and another was dynamic programming uh, minimum coin exchange algorithm uh, its application so after the interview pro process they chose uh, chose me as system engineer specialist which is currently known as digital specialist engineer so i was chosen as a system engineer specialist and then i joined infosys in 2020 and uh, generally uh, my training and everything was online and as i was uh, system engineer specialist so my training was for 3 months generally for system engineer training period is uh, more but for system engineer specialist the training is 3 uh, months and for power programmer this is very short so anyway i got i got through the training uh, there were uh, for my branch was java and uh, i learn angular spring boot these things and then i was uh, i joined a project so like after completing one year in infosys in 21 october i uh, got a mail so basically all the digital specialist engineer will get a chance to go for the next uh, stream that is power programmer and for this they need to clear one test so for the power programmer this test is uh, very similar one single one uh, medium and another is complex so in this uh, way i have practiced uh, a lot in lead code and i was quite confident that this time i will be clearing as power programmer so i remember the questions are mainly from uh, 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 one was greedy question one was simply array based question uh, uh, where we need to use priority queue and another question uh, was application of c 
so i could complete all, uh, all the three question all my test case pass so i was quite confident that i will be uh, calling for the interview so like in infosys uh, itself uh, like after clearing the uh, exam you need to go for one interview or a discussion round so for my case it was a discussion kind of uh, round a senior uh, power programmer called me uh, because we are in the, already in the infosys so in uh, we were told that within this uh, one week the in um, the interview or the discussion thing will be happening so i got a call and we just discuss about what uh, my current project and uh, whatever i have learned like uh, i i have already learned angular so i explained that i uh, angular i know he asked me some questions from angular and it was very short round and i cleared the exam so by this uh, like after one year of joining infosys i cleared the power programmer uh, role i cracked the exam and i am promoted to power programmer so if you are interested in this role so there are uh, many chances so first one is you can apply through hack with infi or infi tq from there you can directly join as power programmer for this you need to have very good coding skills because the coding uh, interviews or the coding questions are quite tough so mainly lead code medium and hard level questions are asked and uh, and even if you are get joining as system engineer specialist or digital specialist engineer even if uh, system engineer for like uh, digital specialist engineer there is a direct stream like you can appear for a test and even if you are joining as system engineer there are some bridge uh, program kind of thing so most probably when you will be completing two years uh, you will get a chance to appear for this bridge program that is also a coding uh, this type of thing so you can go to this power programmer role and here like they expect uh, de uh, they will be uh, expect all the power programmers are doing some development uh, project uh, working on development project and uh, working on some quite challenging project so and in this video i have uh, given my email id and uh, my telegram channel link if you have any query regarding this you can reach out to me in link link or in my telegram group and if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel